The renovation of I-70 is now underway, but the labor industry is warning that there aren't enough trade workers to do the job. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains their concerns and what this predicament means for the public. From construction to electricians, mechanics, and heavy machine operators, industry experts say there's a labor shortage. Lawmakers from across the state took a field trip Thursday to a trade center to find out what the workforce needs are following historic infrastructure investments. One of the things both sides agree on is that we have some real concerns about where the future of our workforce is going to come from. You don't have to be a Republican. Yeah, I'm concerned that we don't have enough in real time. I'm also concerned that we don't have enough training. Or Democrat to know there's a trade worker shortage. We've kind of gotten behind the eight ball as a nation when it comes to infrastructure and, and keeping it up to par. Uh, and now we're getting ready to pay the price because we haven't kept our workforce up to it. Soon, the $2.8 billion I-70 project, adding an extra lane in both directions from Wentzville to Blue Springs, will be out for construction, a concern for the labor industry. That's a lot of work for laborers maybe years worth of work for us. A group of bipartisan legislators visiting the Labor's Training Center in Montgomery County Thursday, finding out what students are learning and the recruiting efforts underway. So we are out there uh, hitting the pavement, shaking all the bushes, trying to, to tell our story to try and get young folks and folks interested in the construction industry to bring them in. With aging infrastructure and one of the largest highway systems in the country, laborers are in need. For so long, probably 10 to 15 years at least, we've, we've told kids, hey, go to college, do this, and we haven't done a real good job of going out and recruiting and promoting the trades. Leaving lawmakers tasked with finding ways to help. We've got to uh, incentivize apprenticeship programs, training facilities like this, just to keep up with, with our infrastructure issues. It's a huge investment in us, but at the same time, we need to invest back in the people to get them trained up where they can do that. The state received a C- minus on a recent infrastructure report card from the American Society of Civil Engineers. Missouri currently ranks third in the country for apprenticeships. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Mann.